After seven years of construction, Waterville's downtown revitalization project is complete. Senators Angus King and Susan Collins stopped by today for a ribbon cutting. New Center Mayor's David Guilford is in Waterville. And David, this marks a big transformation for the city's downtown area. You're telling me, Pat, we cover our fair share of revitalization projects across the state. Welcome to Main Street in Waterville, where they've put in brand new paving and bricks on the sidewalk, new street lamps, a brand new hotel, and they turned Main Street, which was one lane, into two lanes. City leaders think this will help to, I mean, the, the word is revitalize activity here in the downtown. Now, Senators King and Collins, as you mentioned, came to cut the ribbon on this project on Friday after steering a seven and a half million dollar grant here. But the city had been laying plans since 2015 and Waterville, the state and Colby College all combined to contribute significant money to this project. King and DOT Commissioner Bruce Van Note explained why this is more than just new concrete and street lamps. Waterville historically has been a center of, of the activity in northern Kennebec and, and up into Somerset County. It's an enormously important uh, lodestone, if you will, for the economy and the activity of this region. Uh, the innovative public-private partnership to re revitalize the downtown helps us accomplish our mission. The work done on the surrounding city blocks, as I've talked about, will calm traffic, promote walking and biking and improve the attractiveness of the downtown area. Now we also spoke with Colby President David Green who said the city of Waterville came to bat for his college decades ago when they were struggling. They never forgot that and they wanted to help this downtown shine again. Reporting in Waterville, David Guilford, New Center, Maine.